My name is Noemi Bertinotti, and as you perhaps noticed from my accent, I'm from the northern part of Italy, specifically from the area close by the city of Turin. I am proud of being part of a national association of volunteer psychologists called Psychology per i Popoli, which literally translated would sound something like psychologist for the population. As the name suggests, we are practitioners, both clinical psychologists and psychotherapists, experts on psychotraumatology, and mostly intervene in case of emergencies for the population's safeguard. As an association aged 20 years old, our practice is research-based, but also corroborated by the experience on the ground. How do you tackle radicalization in your work? At the general and primary prevention stage, we promote awareness about violent extremism within our association and disseminating our knowledge throughout the several channels that link to the population. At the secondary prevention stage, we address activities to group at risk. At a tertiary stage, we cooperate with the local authorities in order to manage radicalized people. Our association has two subgroups, the migration area and the terroristic area, whose projectuality is complementary. Finally, at a fourth stage, we intervene in case of emergency and extreme uh, violence. We offer support to the direct victims in order to increase their resilience, but at the same time, we take care of the perpetrators, if possible, the familiars of the victims, and last but not least, the operators involved in the situation, which may be vulnerable to vicarious trauma effects. What are the biggest challenges you face in your work? In our work, it is challenging to keep on with the prevention aspect, which doesn't give you tangible outcomes sometimes, and it is difficult to estimate its value. And so we have to keep on motivated, uh, thinking and believing on the importance of prevention and keeping on informing both the general population both giving support to those people who need us the most, who need psychological support the most. That is challenging, but the most challenging thing for us is to intervene in case of severe emergency, where you really need to keep the blood cold, as cold as possible, because you need to give your support to people who really, really need your support. What is the most rewarding about your work in tackling radicalization? I would say that the reward is intrinsic in our helping profession. Plus, you need to consider that we are all volunteers, so we must be very, very motivated and personally motivated. I would say that emergencies always challenge people to express the best of their human potential, and that is simply astonishing. But what is also rewarding at a more cognitive, let's say, and rational level, it is being part of a multidisciplinary network that work in synergy towards a common objective. And from another side, the recognition of our work from the national institutions. How did you learn about RUN? What was your first contact? When in 2016 we intervened after the terroristic attack in Nice, in France, we offered our support, as I previously said, to the victims and their families. Afterwards, we have been contacted by the RAN to attend an international meeting held in Madrid in 2016 in order to meet the victims of the terroristic attacks and their families and to set some guidelines shared with other practitioners of all Europe. That was the first time we were contacted by the RAN network. And then after that, we decided it was very important for us to get an international look. Having a look to the RAN website, I found a working group, the health and social care, which I was really interested about. And I decided to contact the responsibles. What do you expect from RAN? Since RAN is building up a network, I would love to keep on with the meetings in order to exchange 
knowledge and practice with other practitioners and maybe building up some networks and some collaboration. At the same time, I expect from RAN to enhance the recognition of the role of a mental health professionist in the multi-agency work. This was Noemi Bertinotti, a volunteer at Psicologi per i Popoli Federazione in Italy. Noemi took part in the meeting, taking mental health issues into account in CVE and PVE. Please visit the website of the Radicalization Awareness Network to find more information about its activities. And stay tuned for our next monthly interview podcast.